So did you know that they are making a direct sequel to Night of the Living Dead? I know there's been multiple Dawn of the Deads, multiple Day of the Deads, Day of the Dead 2 and 3 and 4 that kind of spin off the series. There's been multiple Night of the Living Deads that kind of spin off the series. But this is a true direct sequel to Night of the Living Dead. If you did not know about that, Marcus Slabine was on an episode of Five Things. He is the first director ever to be directing a direct sequel to the Living Dead franchise that is not George A. Romero, and he recommended this next film. Welcome to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional, and this is Dave from Nerdbox, and I'm accompanied by my wife, Jen, also from Nerdbox. And on this episode for 31 Days of Halloween, we are talking about VFW. So fire up that Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. for veterans at a VFW turns into an all-out battle for survival when a desperate teen runs into the bar with a bag of stolen drugs, stalked by a street gang who doesn't care whose blood they spill in order to retrieve them. Unfortunately for the gang, they have come knocking at the wrong bar, as the vets aren't about to allow them in without a fight. If you are in the mood for a retro film, with the cheese and the cornball stuff in it, then this is going to be the one for you. It includes the 80s style music, the 80s style graininess to the film. It's dark, it has the coloring from an 80s film. The clothing. The cl yes, the clothing. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Escape from New York. So VFW is stacked with a cast of people from 80s movies. Yeah. <laughs> it also features Stephen Lang. Yeah, if you don't know, he's probably most notably recently known for Don't Breathe mm -hmm. and Don't Breathe 2. He he stole the movie, but I think he's amazing. Yeah. Well, I kind of like um, his partner in crime, Abe, Yeah. <laughs> which uh, is Fred Williamson. There's Martin Cove, who, hello, has... Is it has been in the past, you know, five seasons of Cobra Kai, and he also was in the Karate Kid movies as John Priest. So you got William Sattler. That's true. Another huge William name Sattler, in this film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then David Patrick Kelly from The Warriors. Yes. From Crow, and he just like him. He he has that unique look and voice about him. It's just like oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Complaints. Come here. A bash. The devil stood. Does it get you sweating? Like we said, it is a throwback to 80s films. And it's not like what we see in Stranger Things or The Black Phone or The Summer of 84, where it's like, oh, okay, let's kind of make it about a previous time and then let's toss in all these little easter eggs to make sure that you understand that it's early from the 80s so we got to put posters here and we got to put tv shows on and stuff like that to make you think that it's the mm -hmm. 80s this film doesn't rely on it no this film is essentially just filmed and shot like a, a cheesy corny 80s film yeah and sometimes you just need that cheese in your life <laughs> it's true now in the movie the street gang Man, when they get hocked up on drugs, they almost turn into zombie-like creatures that are just unstoppable and can do these crazy feats of power and beating people up and yeah. busting through doors. I don't know how people act when they snort coke. Well, this isn't coke. This is some new drug. Oh, yeah. It's probably one of the, like, right? It's probably, like, you know, sort of like a spice, but different. <laughs> no, no, no. Not meth. Bat salt. So if you ever oh, remember yeah. the... 
the guy running naked down the street trying to eat people because um, he was high on bath salts in Florida. Yeah, people like eating people's faces then because again, of bath it salts. Is, it is Florida, so. That's true. I mean, I, if it was in any other state, I would probably be like, oh my God, that's terrible. But when it happens in Florida, you're like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what doesn't happen in Florida, right? Yeah. So, you know, essentially here... Anybody should know, man. Don't... And I'm sorry if any of you are from Florida. I've never actually been there. I just watch all the stories online. <laughs> yeah. Now, if we all know, right, you really don't want to ever screw with a veteran. Especially when some of the veterans are pretty much in shape. Still, right? <laughs> I mean, you've got, like, for the most part, well, uh, Stephen Lang and Martin Cove, they were, I mean, for guys in their age, you know, in their 70s, they're still in pretty good shape and yeah. the guy from the warriors too yeah so. now this isn't like the the way veterans are portrayed now on in a lot of movies and mm -hmm. tv where you know they're dealing with ptsd mm -hmm. this is like the old school veterans that are portrayed that are like tough as nails and if you say something wrong with them they ain't afraid to put you in line so imagine you're walking into a bar with five of these guys in there and you're like yeah that bitch over there we're taking her and none of you are gonna stop me. And they're like, "What did you just say to me?" Yeah. yeah. And and it's just all out carnage after that. Yeah, and then just carnage ensues, and it's crazy. And it, I mean, it it was really good to see uh, Martin Cove in a good guy role. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he always plays a dick. He does. He's all he always plays a dick, and William Sadler plays a dick a lot too. So mm -hmm. it, it's nice when they. You know, and Stephen Lang, I mean, let's be honest, he was no Boy Scout in Don't Breathe, uh -huh. so it's nice to see, it's nice to see them play the good guy. Yeah, and for me, I typically root for the bad guys in films, and here I'm rooting for the veterans. I'm uh, I rooting... feel like you have to, because they're veterans, I feel like it would be un-American to root for the other guy. I guess, yeah, you can put it that way. You want yeah. veterans to die? That's terrible. Yeah, there are, there are some... <laughs> like over the top kill scenes on it but yeah. it, it's fun it, it's just fun this is one that you want to get a, a thing of popcorn kick back get your favorite cold beverage and just enjoy the film because it is it is a retro 80s cheesy film yeah i think that was probably like the biggest thing with me was the uh the colors it was not easy on my eyes maybe we had to mess with the colors on the tv or something no know. you can't mess with the colors of the i know the it's TV. supposed to be like that but i don't know maybe it was because we had the light on in the bedroom probably not a good idea it didn't really come out like it was supposed to yeah the reds and blues need mm -hmm. to pop on this so you need to be in a dark room mm -hmm. yeah now the reds and blues unlike what you see here you know picture it where it's a film that you're watching it and it's smoky in there yeah and you have the lights that are just kind of in there mm -hmm. almost like a strip club yes mm -hmm. and they do mention that a lot yeah <laughs> they were supposed they were celebrating some one of the guy's birthdays and they were supposed to go to the strip club these poor guys all they want to do is just go to the strip club yeah and then they have to deal with a bunch of hooligans yeah exactly I just wanted to see some boobies. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it is the quest for 5,000 subscribers. And if you are not subscribed or if you don't know that you are subscribed, please just take a look and see if that little button says subscribe instead of subscribe. <laughs> click it, click it, click it. And then please, 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 please. And for those that are doing it already, thank you very much. We appreciate you. Drop a like and a comment because the more likes and comments that we get on these videos that the broader the audience is for these reviews and all the other cool things that we do on Nerdbox, like the Pop 5, like our theories, like our Easter egg videos, and like the interviews with all the talented independent filmmakers that are out there. So please do that. And we're asking you to do it. So we're going to give you stuff. So every video that gets 100 likes and 100 comments will pick a random person out and they will get to ch they will get to choose from a selection of posters, pins, coloring books, comic books. We have a bunch of theater swag that we're looking to give away. Yeah, and they are theater exclusives and I know that there are some people out there that don't have Cinemarks or Regals near them. They have like AMC or, or whatever. So these are exclusive from Cinemark and Regal. And people are spending 15 bucks on these things a piece yeah. and we're just going to give it away. 
The pins are pretty cool, especially if you like Top Gun. Yeah. Once we hit 5,000 subscribers, you get a chance to win this box of strawberries and scream. And in fact, one of our guests on Five Things recently said, wow, you, you're giving this away? And it's signed by Matthew Lillard and David Arquette. And that's from a channel that has just under 1 million subscribers. Yeah. So yes, we are crazy enough to give away this cool item that is not available here in the States. And you're not going to be able to get anywhere else signed. No. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. So, don't forget to... Well, he already told you to like and subscribe, so make sure you share, too. Yes, please. And, like what we were telling you during our quest for 1,000 subscribers, you don't have to click on the notifications. We will be there when you're ready to watch a, re a review or any of our other content. So, we appreciate you, and we will see you tomorrow on the 31 Days of Halloween. Hey.